anyway you just wiggle that uh, str uh, truss each one of those struts until if it's loose enough it'll come down level with the ground uh, and uh, you can hook it all up nice and neat all the trusses are done next thing we're gonna do is the purlins stay tuned All right, I've laid this purlin out along the edge of the greenhouse, along the ground posts. And I've marked off the center of each one of those posts on the purlin. Let's see if you can see that there. Let's get in here. See the center? I've marked it off. I've also numbered the posts, or the uh, purlins where they're put together so that um, as I install this down the center of the greenhouse everything should line up exactly as it does at the base it should be plumb at the end All right, there's two different purlins we use for this there's a one and three eighths and then there's a two inch two inch is uh, used on every bow except for the first and the last one and that's where that one comes in because it it's a little different on the center if you look up there let me see if I can get closer uh, on the scaffold don't do this at home uh, I'm a professional huh. all right you see how this is the one and three eighths it goes on the underside and the purlin goes through it now these go the exact opposite way. They go around the bow and attach to the purlin. And the purlin rides on top. Now the purlin's gonna ride on top all the way down to the last bow and it'll go underneath that one as well. That way it won't uh, cut into the plastic from the end wall. All right, it does not say to do this on the instructions, but after you've laid out the purlins along the side walls and marked them all off what I did is I laid this next to a 2x4 up there nice and straight to keep these lined up straight on the top of the purlin and I drilled my holes down here and then translated it to here by straight keeping it on the the mark on the center of the bow Twisting it, making sure it's all lined up straight before you uh, connect the two purlins with a tech screw. And then you unloosen one of those clamps. And I'll show you up there what I do if you haven't seen it already. Slide it onto the mark and tighten it all down. Okay, tours, you see what I got here. You have the mark on the center of the bow. And then the mark that I made up here. And I have pre-drilled these holes. The only one I have not pre-drilled is the one that's going to go through that into this, through this, into the bow. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that tech screw loose, slide this all together, line it up, and tighten it down.
All right, this is the last one that gets attached this way. And just like we started down there, you'll see that one's underneath that last hoop or bow or whatever you want to call it. And that will be connected with the smaller of the clamps. That is the, I believe, one and three eighths. It's going to go around. It's going to go around this and attach to the bow instead of around this bow and attach into that. So it's, it's just the opposite. And I'll show you that in just a second. All right, the uh, two purlins going down the side, they run underneath the whole way, and uh, the clamps go around the purlin and attach to the bow all the way down. And you get three screws per clamp, one on each side into the bow, and then one uh, through the purlin. Now that keeps it from slipping. I've got to be honest with you folks, this is no easy chore. This is really rough on you. If I didn't have that uh, scaffold down there, it would be even harder.
I got the center and the two on this side done. We'll get the other side tomorrow. I'm beat. I don't know how much of this uh, video is going to last. I'm about to run out of room here, but I do want to show you something. You see that metal on my arm and my hands? Uh, it's everywhere. That stuff comes out of those tech screws. That's what that cuts away. And that stuff's like molten lava. It is hot. It burns. So um, when it goes down your shirt, things get interesting you know, when you're on scaffolding or a ladder. Anyway, I'm going to finish this up, and uh, we'll start putting the corner braces on. All right, I'm getting ready to put the corner braces on, but the first thing you want to do is make sure that it's plumb, top to bottom. The way you do that is you string. This is the only way I know to do it, uh, is put a string between the two front corner posts, and then drop a plumb line down from the top that middle brace at the very front all the way down and my plumb bob is a little tractor part but you can see that we're just barely touching so we are good to go on the uh, corner braces in the front do the same thing to the other end okay I'm at the one of the corners of the greenhouse in order to um, uh, brace this up on the corners with these corner braces you're going to need a couple of bolts this is a three inch carriage bolt that's going to go through the uh, ground post the actually the third ground post this i don't know if you can see it yeah that right there in a the nut and then you've got a two inch clamp just like what we had at the tops with the bow on the bows it's going to go on the bow and attach with that bolt and a nut and here is the brace right here so what we're going to do is take this clamp I've already got this one on here uh, I'm going to bend it back so I can actually uh, work with it
first thing I'm going to do is attach this end. Since I've got it all plumb, I don't have to do anything but make sure it's tied up here once I get the bolts through. See if you can see that. We've got it all tightened down, and that should do it. I'll finish the other ones. I already got this one over here done. I'll do the other two, and we're going to call it a video. Corner braces and purlins check. They're done. Uh, a couple things I want to show you that I forgot to mention earlier. Uh, one thing is there needs to be a screw, a tech screw. It's a 14-1 tech screw in each ground post connecting, making sure you secure the bow once it's in there. Just one tech screw all the way down. I've just kind of put them about two inches down. Maybe two and a half all the way down. The other thing is, I've got this uh, board over here. I had to figure out a way to fill that gap. When the side curtain, well, when the curtains come down, the, the plastic, it's going to come down and it's going to go around that. And the end wall will come around this. Uh, this is going to be uh, potential for you know animals to get in and air um, and that's not what this uh, circulating system this uh, fan system and the heat system needs is air to come in from all over the greenhouse so I, I've I traced that out so what I did you. is I laid this uh, what I did is I laid this 2 by 4 or 2 by 6 against the hat base before I put it on and I traced out um, that's two of them I'm gonna cut all that out and I'm gonna be able to stick it in the um, the holes that are left at the end of each wall at least that's my plan we'll see how that works God bless go plant some dirt we'll see you next time 
a lot of work, folks.